here in Waimea. Most of you, so I'm just going to say aole to anything and everything. And then I'm going to really address my own people. Because you know Waimea? If you come from Kohala, Waimea, Hamakua, or wherever you came from, I'm so proud to stand with you today. I've been proud to be of this place and to stand for Waimea, and today I am even prouder. Many of you know me as a teacher. I've been teaching at the same school for over 20 years. Many of you know me now because I'm standing for Mauna Awakea, but not just Mauna Awakea, for everything from the mountain to the sea. And why am I standing? I'm standing because on page 36, my great grandma, Emma Pa'a from Kohala, signed her signature when she was 14 years old, as well as many of my other relatives. And I stand here in her strength because she signed, I am able to stand. And because I stand, my daughter can stand. And all the generations below me will be able to stand because we all, have stood today. And I'm one of those teachers for the past three years, although I didn't learn this history myself, going to school just as many of you. I've been holding this Ku'e petition, one act play with many of you in this community for the past three years. So let us not say that our children will not learn their history. They will learn their history in Waimea even though I am leaving my school teaching because I have to do more. I have to stand strong. I have to stand for the mountain. And I'm asking you, I'm asking you to stand with me. And I'm so happy I have hope today. And that's why I thank you. I thank you because you have awakened us. We are standing stronger than ever because you are here. And if you had not come, we would not be here. And I'm going to close by saying if any indication of how we are being treated today is an indication of what would happen in an exchange, then really I say aole. This room is way too small for us. We have people, myself included, standing in the back there. We have children sitting on cold floor. We have kukuna sitting in here in a place that is too small. And I know how to take care of my community. And if you had asked me, you can guarantee I would have got you a bigger room. I would have been here early with water and food for my people because I know how to take care of my people. And we know how to take care of each other. And this is, this is not pono for us to be standing in the back and for our people to be standing outside when we have plenty places in Waimea that could have accommodated us today. So if you want to extend yourself in a formal way, then you should have come in more formal and just made sure that this accommodation was going to fit all of us. Maybe you figured that Waimea wouldn't show and this room would have been enough. I don't know, I'm not saying that, but I know I'm Paul. But to my community, we should all be sitting we should all be comfortable in our own place in Waimea. And so I, I'm not going to apologize for that because I have nothing to do with that, but I want to recognize that, that we are sacred beings and we are still native. And we should have at least had a building that would accommodate all of us. My daughter has her two minutes, but she's just going to take her little 30 seconds so her dad can close, so Kapule Flores, what do you say today? Do you vote yes or do you vote no? I vote no and I always will. And I, I'm very sad that my town has to fight for them, for ourselves. I don't understand why we have to fight for our homeland. We just close with Mahalanui Kia Kua in a Pico Luna, Vaino Lao, a Pino Taato Paolo, make a Loha Nui, and make a Banya or Kia Kua in a Pico Luna, Vaino Lao, Alano Taato Paolo, Mahalanui, the Tuana, Alano Taato.